I'm here with Dr. Bob Pelton, Scientific Director from the Sentinel Bioactive Paper Network, which is based at McMaster University. Dr. Pelton just gave a talk in our plenary session on bioactive paper. Could you explain the, the concept of what bioactive paper actually is? Uh, bioactive paper is a name we use to describe paper products that are able to detect uh, dangerous uh, pathogenic bacteria and viruses, so things that make you sick. Okay, and where does Canada sit in the, in the development globally of, of bioactive paper? Uh, we are one of the uh, so, sort of the early adopters. Canada is one of the early adopters of this kind of research. So uh, we are a major player. Uh, there's significant activities in the U.S. now as well. But uh, what's really special about our activities is we're focusing on applications that that will use uh, significant quantities of paper. So it's, we're looking for important new markets for the paper industry. Great. And, and you mentioned um, phage on paper. Now, that's not a term a lot of people know. Um, could you explain what a phage is? Uh, uh, a phage, or some people call them phage, are, are short for bacteriophage, which are viruses that only attack bacteria. They don't attack uh, humans, human cells, mammalian cells. And uh, so you can, if, if there's a dangerous bacteria you want to get rid of, if you can find the corresponding bacteriophage. The bacteriophage will infect the bacteria and kill it. And uh, so the idea of phage on paper is to have phage on paper surfaces that, w that if they come in contact with a, a, a particular bacteria, they will infect the bacteria and kill it. So this would apply to consumer food safety applications? Food safety applications, food packaging. So uh, uh, one we spend a lot of time on is paper coat. We being uh, my, uh, particularly I'd like to mention my colleague Mansell Griffiths at the University of Guelph. He's, he's the uh, scientific leader of this. Uh, and Mansell has focused a lot on uh, listeriophage. We've heard a lot about listeria in the Canadian uh, media. Mm -hmm. uh, um, so listeria is uh, a bacteria that can make you quite ill and it's usually associated with things like ready-to-eat meats, cold cuts you buy in the store. Mm -hmm. So Mansell's uh, uh, vision is to have, if you're going to have, if you're going to buy sliced meats, to have little thin sheets of paper in between each sheet of, uh, piece of meat like you sometimes see now with prosciutto and things like that. Mm -hmm. But this paper is coated with bacteriophage which prevent uh, listeria from uh, growing on, on the meat surface, so it, it's it's an antibacterial paper. It sounds seems like consumers are ready for that industry on board, moving uh, that direction. Uh, industry is showing interest. Uh, uh, of course, anything involving food and human consumption, there's uh, you have to be very careful and demonstrate safety and efficacy and all the rest of this. But there's lots of interest in food safety. That's fascinating. Thank you for sharing that with us today. My pleasure. Have a great conference. Thank you.